All right, let's change gears. The legislative session in Salem is winding down, which means lawmakers are working to get a lot of bills passed kind of rapid fire. And the Senate just passed one that would get student athletes paid. Now you might have seen KGW's Mike Benner covered this story in some of our other shows last night and earlier today. But a quick recap here right now, student athletes can't get any money per NCAA rules, but this bill would let them get paid for the use of their name, their image or their likeness through endorsement deals, merchandising agreements and appearance fees. So to be clear, the bill would not let schools pay their athletes, but it lets them sign with brands and companies like the pros do and basically hire an agent. Okay, on that note, KGW's Orlando Sanchez joining me now very graciously. It's not like it's been a busy week for you. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. I appreciate it. So basically, let's just kind of walk through the points of this. First, what have you heard student athletes saying about why they think they should be paid? Yeah, I think it's that simple. Yeah. I would like to be paid. We I would like, like to be, to be compensated paid. for the work that I'm doing. It also kind of shine some light on the coaches that are making you know millions of dollars you see these new buildings that are popping up they would like a piece of that as well especially those players that are in the money making sports and you're seeing the millions and billion dollar tv deals that are done yeah or people that are wearing the jersey number that they wear when they're competing and they're only buying those jerseys because you wear it there's a reason why that number 20 sabrina unescu jersey is flying off the shelves it's not because because it's an Oregon, Oregon Ducks jersey, I'm sure that helps. Yeah. But also to have a player of that magnitude wearing that number helps to make a little more money for the NCAA and the college itself. Copy that. It's as simple as it sounds, basically. Totally. So the NCAA, why have they said they're not going to do this in the past? Well, Maggie, that money's got to come from somewhere, it's right? It's also simple. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, they've got to be willing to give up that money, both the NCAA and the institutions, to be able to pay these schools. But there's also that big argument that people say, well, they are getting paid. That scholarship that they get, the yeah. cost of attendance that they get to pay for room and board and also the education that comes along along what after your four years, you're not in debt. So there's that big argument that comes along with it as well. Yeah, and then what have you seen schools saying kind of caught in the middle of this in response to this, this argument that's laid out? That makes it tough because yeah. you, you will have some speak up like in Benner's piece on Oregon saying, yeah, we would like to, but it's complicated. Like we, we need compliance. We need lawyers. We need people that make sure that this is an even, even playing field, not only statewide, but nationwide as we try and, you know, equalize mm -hmm. recruiting because you could be in one state in Florida that says, well, you know what? This athlete could make 10 grand for wearing this pair of socks or another, <laughs> you know, like it is very complicated. Yeah. So they've got to come to an agreement on what is going to work for the entire country and not just in Oregon and things like that. That's, that's going to cost money. It's going to take resources. This is going to be a while before they get this figured out. Definitely. It's, it's like the wants on either end are very simple. How this might work is incredibly complex. Totally. And it's super interesting, too, even yeah. from the simple fact of, oh, well, maybe the athlete could make money just by sending out tweets or endorsing <laughs> mom and pop shops. Like, who knows? Like, it's just crazy. But the time has come. I mean, this has been a huge issue for years now. All right. Orlando Sanchez, valuable perspective. Thank you so Thanks. much.